there's a difference between putting jam first and then butter or oh, butter and mate. then jam. No, I'm a cream first. Uh, me too! <laughs> So today we are exploring this whole concept of home and away. What it's like to move away from home and live elsewhere, so in another country. We're here today with HSBC and yeah, we want to explore that. So Ellie, I'm going to start with you. Can you just share with us a little bit of where you played? Yeah, I went to Fiorentina out in Florence. It was a big decision for mm. an 18 year old. I moved in with an older teammate and she was like my mum, teaching me how to actually make pasta. And it was all things like that where I was like, I'm still a kid. I also moved out with 16 uh, to but not it was like a really tiny, small village. Any challenges that you, you faced when you came over? Yeah, definitely. Listening to other accents because <laughs> speaking English is one thing, <laughs> listening to English is the other thing. And yeah. then we had Scottish players, we had players from Liverpool and so on. I came from Charlton before and I was at that club for 14 years. So yeah. for me, moving club, I always wanted to have the feeling of like a family. Mm. And I just think it's important when new people come in, you make them feel as comfortable as possible. Ria, you're from New Zealand and you are now here in the UK. I've obviously tried with a lot of different places yeah. and experienced a lot of different things but it's been a good experience and something I've obviously enjoyed doing. What do you think Ria would say is like the best thing about British culture? The banter. <laughs> she loves my banter. Oh, really? <laughs> She'll probably deny it but she does. I'll give her that. It's okay. Right, yeah. yeah I'll give her that. As you can yeah. see in front of us we have the quintessential English breakfast tea <laughs> and some scones with jam and cream and Ramona I'd just love for you to just share what, what's the equivalent? What in Germany do you, would you say this is your German staple for food? Sometimes we eat Brötchen in the morning. It's uh, like a bun. It's a bit similar to that, but it's more like bread. I'd always go for roast dinner. Okay. That's my go-to no matter what. It's With all the trimmings though. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Can't have people telling me that they don't have a Yorkshire pudding with no. their roast dinner. Ramona, I'd love for you to just teach Ellie a little bit of German. Hi, ich bin Ellie. Hi, ich bin Ellie. Ich spiele für Tottenham Hotspur. Ich spiele für Tottenham Hotspur. Und bin eine super Spielerin. Und bin ich so nicht auf That was a very good attempt. Yeah. How has living abroad kind of impacted you as a person? It's made me grow as a person. When you are traveling around, it's like you're living out of a suitcase. Mm. So you're never settled in, in one country, but it's just adapting to the different ways of life. I and mean, obviously being here for so long now, I'm still obviously growing and learning every season. So I kind of see this as hopefully my home and, and where I want to finish my career. As two players who both moved away, what advice would you give to somebody who would be in a similar position? I personally say take the plunge. I've always been very close to my family, but it made me closer to my family because we would make the most of the time where we got to speak with each other. I would say definitely go for it yeah. and run the risk. Even if it's not working out, you will make experience that will help you grow. Mm. We have created a family environment here, so you can get that from other people. So if that's what you're worried about, then you, you shouldn't be. Just go for it and the environment will help you get through it. So we've just heard from Spurs women sharing their experiences of what it was like to move away from home and live in a different culture. And we'd love to hear from you as well. So make sure you comment below uh, so you can share your experience of what it's like to live abroad. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe to HSBC's channel and we'll catch you again soon.